Good morning, Destiny players, and hey, it's Wednesday. Build time. I am Bladeburger, your local Jujutsu Kaisen is a better Naruto than Naruto kind of guy, and today it's all about Threadlings. If you like the video, do the good stuff that we all like, and hey, I unlock super followers and members, so maybe spare some change for a poor burger? No? Aww. Anyways, let's get into all the good stuff. To start off, the Shwamas themselves. These exotic warlock boots allow to destroy tangles to spawn threadlings and lets threadlings unravel targets they damage. Unravel is a debuff that acts as a damage over time, releasing damaging projectiles as it remains on target. Additionally, when killed, the unravel enemy becomes a tangle. Synergy. With this in mind, this build is, of course, a grenade-centered build. I've only made 11 videos so far that feature grenade spams, and plenty more are sure to come in the future. If you have one to suggest, definitely let me know either in the comments or in my Discord. I do sometimes take suggestions. For class and abilities, we're on Strand Warlock, of course. For grenade, we have the Threadling Grenade. Throw it out to make small boys that chase enemies and return to us if they don't find an enemy to slap. That's the only important part of abilities. All else either has no other choices or really doesn't matter. Like the Rift doesn't matter. Melee doesn't matter because there's only one choice. Stuff like that. For aspects, Weaver's Call. Use your Rift to create three Threadlings and shit out any Threadlings that you have perched on you. With max Threadlings, you can send out eight small boys to kill your enemies. It's fun. The other aspect is Mind Spunification. The important part is that we can hold our grenade button to create five perched Threadlings. The max we can hold. For fragments, Threat of Propagation. Powered melee kills gives your strand weapons unraveling rounds. Threat of Evolution. Threadlings, you make travel farther and deal more damage. And hey, Threadlings are getting buffed soon too. Threat of Generation. Dealing damage generates grenade energy. Threat of Rebirth. Strand weapon kills have a chance to make a Threadling. It's Threadling City over here and we're the mayor of it. For weapons and stats, strand weapons preferably. I'm personally using the Season of Defiance Auto since it can roll Demolitionist. For stats, you can really do whatever. Recovery for Rift cooldown, Discipline for Grenade cooldown, Resilience because not dying is good. Now, let's get to the mods. As usual with every build, the overview section. Look at the mods, study them, and recite them in A minor in front of a crowd so I really know that you learned them. Dim link in description as well if I remember to add one. For helmet, we have a siphon for each of our weapons. Rapid kills with weapon matching the siphon makes orbs of power. Swap these based on the weapon you're using. We also have a targeting mod as well since we don't really need much here. For arms, grenade kickstart. Using a grenade gives grenade energy back and more if you have any armor charges, which are gained through orb pickup and the elemental charge mod. We also have impact induction, giving us grenade energy on melee damage. Also we have focusing strike, giving us class ability energy on melee damage. The big reason why we have these two mods instead of anything that synergizes with grenades is because Threadlings don't count as grenade damage. On chest, it's the usual triple resist thing since we don't really need anything here. Use reserves if you want. For boots, elemental charge. Class collectibles like ionic traces, fire sprites, and even tangle destruction gives us an armor charge. We also have double innervation, giving us grenade energy on orb pickup. Note, this does not work if your super is full and you do not have a kickstart mod. It's really weird. But you should probably reverse that. On class item, Double Bomber. Get grenade energy when using our class ability. Up to 25% grenade energy with two copies of Bomber. We also have Reaper, of course. If I make a build that doesn't have Reaper in this day and age, just kill me, as I'm clearly an imposter. Make an orb on your next weapon kill after using your class ability. So there's the mods. Now let's talk some synergies. A new section I'm adding to this because... You know, I need to make the videos longer. Anyways, Threat of Generation is the real king here, as any and all damage works to give energy back. The damage over time of unraveling, the Threadlings that we shit out, our weapons, and all damage gives grenade energy. With that, we can use a small loop of hold to consume grenade, then pop our rift to send forward the Threadlings, and nearly get our grenade back with a Threadling army. If we are somehow out of grenades, we can use our melee to get both our class ability and grenade back quicker. We do get three melee, so it's nice. Any Threadlings that don't kill enemies just comes right back to us to perch and watch menacingly from over our shoulder. There's a lot of synergy here to make this build into a powerhouse. It does really well in Gambit, where I've honestly taken to doing a lot of my build testing since the current seasonal activities are not good for testing. Salvages have pitifully low add density, and deep dives are honestly currently unplayable. So I mainly test it in Gambit, since Gambit has a very large amount of add density, and really, honestly, Gambit's in a fine spot. It just needs maps. 
This build plays really well there and across the rest of the game. Consume grenades, shoot stuff to send them out, deploy your rift to throw them out, and kill everything around you. The synergy of this build ensures that you get a grenade bag very shortly after consuming it to continue to deploy the army. Try this build out for yourself today and let me know how it does. As always, thank you for watching. I do post almost every week so be sure to stay tuned. Join my Discord and become a member of my channel. We have perks. Blade Burger out.